Hello and welcome back. Today I'd like to start with a rather interesting stencil that you can use to plaster cylinder-shaped stairs or other cylinder-like structures. So the outcome is way better than when you try to do the plastering the usual way. Notice that the upper step should be prepared in advance because the whole structure rather depends on it and if you do it the wrong way it will affect all the other stairs. So the whole thing is based on two rails and two mounting plates. The anchor that supports the stencil goes right into the middle of the first step. And so the second pivot point is a small wheel. Next on our list is this interesting screw gun nozzle. So one way of using it would be after the stone leg, for instance. The main component here is a 60mm drill, which goes into a 20mm polypropylene pipe. Also notice the bin. It's made of plywood and a piece of plastic, and as you can see, it's very useful. So it's a pretty interesting and fine piece of equipment that will simplify the troweling process. Next thing I'd like to show you is this quick action clamping tongue. Because it has an extra clamp, you can actually use this thing as a sort of mini vice kind of thing. Or you can make it a tool holder of some sort, which will allow for an improvised sharpener. So not only you can sharpen drill bits with it, but you can also do a bit of a manicure. So that's nice. I'm pretty sure that not many people know how to handle the wire crochet hook, so... I think that this ratcheting ring spanner based adaptation may very well serve as a reasonable alternative. All you need to do is to drill two holes like these, and so this way you can just use it with a screwdriver. And that's actually a lot faster than when you use pliers. So this device here is a spring compression finish that you can make out of a cylinder gun. So you can see a piece of pipe resting on the bearing. The lower ring was cut and those ends were bent and sharpened. So in this particular case, the device is used for installing the spring on the engine valve. So there you go, fast and easy. And so finally, here's an interesting DIY tile leveling alignment system. Its main advantage is that it's reusable, and you can normally use these things only once or twice, so that's cool. As you can see, clerical clamps and dowels were used at this point. So after the whole thing is dry, you can easily dismount and use it next time just as easy. So that's all for now. You'll find all the links to full videos in the description. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.